Hello, hello everyone. Uh, we're doing something a little different today, mainly because a few of my friends suggested this game to me. And I messed about a little bit on it yesterday. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing. With that said... Let's get into it. Um, how do I start this game? I, I was in endless mode yesterday just to learn how to play it. Select scenario? Okay, um... Well, I don't have anything, do I? Okay, new home. Which survivor mode? Oh, okay. Custom scenario, medium, medium, medium. Everything's on medium. Yeah, sure. Let's see what happens. Bunkhouses are warmer than tents. Houses are warmer than bunkhouses. All right. That sounds logical. Oh, look at a cutscene. Roam the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old, stripped with pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. who remained came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope that pushed us forward. Slowly, step by step, we knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Alrighty, I have a few questions about their cutscene, mainly, how did they get that giant rig up the mountain that they were climbing? Now, I, I know next to nothing about this game. In endless mode, I kind of got a feel for the buttons, and that was it. I do know how to pause it, so that's cool. I know I need coal, so let's get some people on wood. And is this coal? Is this coal? Where's the coal? There's the coal. Everybody on coal. In fact, I want two sets of people on coal. Because the last time it didn't end well. In endless mode, it was it was bad. Okay, I have five people available and fifteen engineers. Uh yeah, sure. So I gotta turn the generator on. But we don't have any resources to do that. Now, I know I'm going to need laws and all that fun stuff. Uh, 
and I'm gonna need houses and all that fun stuff. So first up, let's give him a cemetery. Because I know they're gonna complain about it. Hear me, hear me. We have 80 New people, so that means they're gonna want houses. 10, 20, well I can house 30 of them. So you know, they're gonna have to deal with it. I have to tell them to go. Okay, they're doing really good on the coal collection so far. Semi-decent on the wood collection. 30, 40, 50. Need like 30 more wood and then we can put up some uh, the last of the tents. 18, 19, come on, one more, 20. Alright, so what I want to do is take this road and stretch it around like so. And then... Take the steam hub and put it right here. This will not only give it a road, but this will also make it to where the hospital turns on and hope goes up. And then bam! Okay, so now we need to... Ooh, I don't have steel. Now, do I have a steel thing around here? Like an iron mine? I do. Cool. And I have a coal mine right here. I have a closer one right here. Okay, so... Sawmill. There are a lot of trees. I like that. You can place right there. there. I have opened an infirmary. Are you happy? Oh hell, the generator turned off. Again, you're at capacity. Why? Look, there's new infirmary right here. Oh, it's still at zero percent, that's why. There. Nope. Oh, hey, look, I think I'm a Bob came back. That thing looks weird.
I don't know what the infirmary is. Like, is that something in here? Yeah, right there. They want something I can't even make yet. I would like to point out that at this point in time, I'm waiting for my scouts to come back with stuff. That way I can start doing more researches. And it's literally a race against the clock. Either the generator's gonna turn off and everybody's gonna get mad at me. And I'm probably gonna get kicked out of the city, which I assumed was going to happen anyway. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just... Just kind of doing stuff. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, we're about, at this point in time, I thought we were going to lose the city. The discontentment's almost maxed out. Like, I'll be honest with you, I I don't think this place is going to last. I think I made a boo-boo. build the prison yet. No, I need 40. I need 40. suddenly just get 21 unemployed people from. I'll put five people there. Put five people there. Five people there. Oh, that's why, because all you guys just quit, so eight here. Spin this. One... Automatron. Oh, we're barely, barely ahead of the game here on the coal. I don't think it matters, though. Ooh, discontentment, I think, just maxed out. Pretty sure that's what just happened. Got nobody working at the steel mill, so I'll put somebody there. I'd like to state, I have no idea how this happened. At all. I didn't do anything. If I manage to get past this... Without failing... I will be amazed. Okay, so we have more survivors coming back in one hour six, no, one hour thirteen. So by the time they get back, the Londoners will leave, and that'll actually just level out where we are. I think. But yeah, we don't have anybody working the metal post, no, nothing like that.
Right now, the only thing keeping our uh, place going is this, because I put the robot on it. Everything else has basically shut down. So, with everything shut down, I wonder if that means I can pull people off things. So, like, right here. They're not working anyway. So I can put them right here. No one working on this one. So I can put them right here. There's no one working at this one. So I can put them right here. Build a propaganda center. I guess I'm not gonna have to. Oh, it's big. Like, I don't know if that's gonna raise hope or not. And there goes the London nurse. I think I'm screwed. Guess we're going into dictatorship, boys. the guards to stop the London Earth at all costs, despite their wishes. <clears throat> Trapped like caged animals, they fought tooth and nail for their right to decide their own fate. They paid dearly for this victory. Some Londoners were badly beaten, some died. What matters is they stayed. There are people again. Not that it matters, I mean... <sighs> crap. Maybe I can... Get people to be a little happier if I boost up the heat just a smidge. Like as far as coal is concerned, that's going to put us at a minus consumption. That's bad. But with more people showing up, that means I can throw some people there. Pause this. Alright, so you guys just got back. So we're gonna send you over to here, because I think there's gonna be people over there. <coughs> Not that it really actually matters. But I have turned the heat up a little bit. So hopefully... Escort the children. Alright, escort them back. I don't know. Do you think we're going to get it? Will hope rise enough? I can guarantee you right now, if the temperature goes up, we should be good. There's not much I can really do for them. Because we don't have anybody working steel. So let's get people on steel. Get some more people on wood. 
few more on the food on either side. Say four each should be enough. Alright, there's the propaganda thingy. One off here, and put one. Oh, I need an engineer there. Okay, put you back. Take you off. Add you on. There. Hope rises a lot, and I don't know how, but somehow we made it. Uh, they're pissed at us. They're dying. We don't have enough workers for anything. But we made it. And I think right here would be a good place to to call it. Like this is this is a crazy game. Did it save? Yeah. What am I called? Oh, a new home. Okay. We made it 30 days so far. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to keep playing this or not for uh, this city. I might. I might make a new city. These guys are just mad about everything. I. I totally messed up at the beginning. I didn't realize I needed to assign workers to the thumper. Uh, if you guys want me to continue this, make it into like a series. You know, hit the like button, subscribe. Uh, let me know that you guys actually want to see this. And like I said, a friend a friend recommended this game and I don't know how we managed to uh make it this far without starting a riot. Cuz we're very close to rioting. Our discontentment was so high. Uh, with that, though, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.